Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus, and today we'll be going over how to use an FTP client to connect your VPS or enterprise server. I will be using the PAGE documentation using SFTP on your VPS or enterprise server, and I will be using FileZilla because it works on Windows and Macintosh. Even though I'm doing this tutorial on a Macintosh, the instructions are basically the same. I've also created a text editor with basic steps, and we'll begin by going to Finder, clicking on the top right section where it says Finder. Once the application's open, selecting Preferences, not Settings. And under Sidebar, we'll check mark our home directory, which is usually the same as your, your username. So let's get started. Click on Finder, Preferences and then it'll have a home icon or emoji, whatever you want to call it. We'll check mark that and we'll see that it appears right here. And that's all we need from Finder for now. Go to our next instructions, which says to open Finder, Applications, and FileZilla. Obviously you want to download and install FileZilla before this step if you haven't already. I have. We'll open it up. And then our instructions say to Go to the top right corner of FileZilla, select Settings, select SFTP, add a key file, and then select the saved private key. Now, the file key that we want is in a private directory. So once this is open, we'll use Shift, Command, and Period simultaneously to show hidden directories. And then we'll want to click on the SSH directory. The period in front means it's a hidden directory and select our private key that we generated in our last tutorial. So let's go ahead and do that. I have FileZilla selected, click on settings, click on SFTP, click on add key file, and click on the page the icon. We see that there's no hidden directories yet. I'll command, shift, and period, and suddenly the hidden directories appear. And then we'll select IDE RSA. It'll ask to convert it, we'll say yes, and I'll, it'll also ask us for a passphrase, remember, you have to remember that, just call it FileZilla, and it has been added, we select OK, now we want to get the information for our host name now, and you would do that by going to atomic.pagely.com, clicking on sites all sites clicking on your application selecting app details and you're going to scroll down to the press DNS section and it'll be right here in this section uh, for security purposes I'm not showing you that obviously but um, the instructions are basically the same and when you first sign up with Pagely um, our documentation says this as well the host name can be found within the email when you first sign up and your VPS is provisioned. But if not, you can contact support for assistance. So if you still can't find it, go ahead and contact support. We'll help you with that. I'm going to use the IP address in this case. Put it under host. Select our username. We're going to use port 22. And we don't need a password because we're using a private key. But it will ask us for that passphrase the first time. And we're done.